Hello friends, Jennifer Pearson here, Thistle Gypsy, with a little collage show and tell. So, um, you know, one of the things when my family gets together for Christmas, it can be a problem, a little bit, um, is what to do. So it's a family of adults because none of us children of the parents had children ourselves um, and so there isn't the fun or pain in the butt of managing children who are present or of watching them do whatever they do so we have to come up with our own stuff to do and um, two things that are frequently included are games and I am usually the person who brings them although I ended up just leaving them at my parents' house. But I don't know, my parents don't seem to get into that as much anymore. Um, you know, we were there and they didn't suggest that we get out games. Um, and they do puzzles. Now, it used to be that puzzles was a holiday thing. Now they do puzzles continuously, all year round. They have a puzzle out. So I can do puzzles a little bit but I can't do puzzles continuously. So I started to take um, collage material a few years ago. It was the first time I did it. I took some collage material along with me and my sister and I had a lovely time making collages. And the um, earlier collage video I did, earlier in December, um, some of those were from that little bout of collage fun and so this time and then there was last year I, I wasn't able to make it for the long holiday for Christmas I was sick during that time and um, then yeah there's just short ones so I think it was the one before that my sister kind of said you didn't bring or maybe it was Easter of last year my sister said you didn't bring any collage material <laughs> so I figured that was my cue um, <clears throat> and since I've kind of organized my stuff back there um, I was able to pull some stuff at the last minute I just pulled the small bin where is it that right there I just pulled that and some glue sticks and a pair of scissors because my mother has scissors and um, that was kind of the last thing I threw in the car to go visit family so we spent quite a bit of time doing collages so I'm going to show you um, we did postcard size because those are all small images in that um, particular bin and so I'm just going to show you as usual we did them two-sided so there's one Again, if anybody is interested in them for your own purposes, whatever that may be, let me know. Otherwise, I'm not sure what I'm going to do with them. The suggestion that I had given people in my previous video, I might follow myself. You know, it might just, even if it's just a sketch of the general figures, you know, I, I don't know. Look at those baby birds. So these ones um, that I'm showing you here were pretty much random. Those two that I just showed you um, from images that just happened to be out. Uh, we put up a separate card table in the living room and I took probably about half of the images out of that bin and just kind of spread them around so we can go through them. Um, and as we were doing that over a period of days, we got to know some of the images and I ended up with some ideas that I wanted to do and otherwise I just do it randomly, kind of whatever picture or whatever my sister was doing it according to color. She did a blue one and I can't remember what the other color was. Um, And then I think she did another blue one, so she was in a blue phase. <laughs> um, I ended up, and, and also my dad came in and said, just asked, 
out of the blue he said are there any shocking images in there <laughs> and I said no you know there's nothing you know I've when when I've thought about doing like elementary school collage which is where you would think of doing collage right would be in elementary school upper elementary maybe I've always hesitated because I don't sort out nude images out of when I'm collecting you know I don't care <laughs> Um, and there are beautiful nudes and so um, <coughs> but that got my sister and I thinking okay shocking do we have shocking I might have some shocking animals and um, just you know we were doing our own thing as well but kept an eye out for anything that fit shocking and when my father had said that my mother added an addendum she said oh he just means boob pictures or something like that so we were watching specifically for nudity, boobs, romance, that kind of thing. Um, so he said shocking, and maybe he meant more um, naughty, probably is more what he meant. In any case, um, and my dad is, is not a womanizer at all, and it's only in the, the later stages of their life here in their 70s. <laughs> that they've got very casual about talking about that sort of thing with uh, their adult children. Um, and my mother is a feminist, so if he were a, a womanizer, he would have been out long ago. But So I just realized I did this upside down on this side. Anyway, one of the ideas that I got as I was looking through images is I have a lot of, I've been donated calendars. My mother donated a bunch of her calendars to me and they are bird calendars. My parents have fed birds consistently all of the years of my life. I never remember a time when we did not have a bird feeder, often very close to a window. So um, as I was going through them I thought I want a bunch of images of the birds with their mouths open. So that's what we've got here is a bunch of mouthy birds. And then on the other side we have this dude in his loops, in his loop de loops, with his well, I hadn't thought about it, that looks like a male in the center, and I think it's two women on either corner, and a couple of animal friends. And my my sister got a kick out of the baseball diamond, but heck, I like the pattern of it. So there's that one. I, I went through a horsey phase. So these this is according to color, kind of red blonde for the most part. And then this was totally color. And I got kicked I got a started on the horse phase because this my sister almost used in a collage and it had just a little bit of glue in it on it and it was sticking here and there in odd places that I didn't want it and so I thought I'm just going to use that thing I'm just going to use it and there was a bunch of black horses and I thought alright we're going to do black horses with a white horse in the center um, so here's the first well that's the second I'll do the first so this is that I will call it a cooperative mis um, collage because my sister and I were both collecting images. She got most of them. That's a sweet image there. He's reading some kind of book to her in the bath. Romantic images. Um, and then, as I, as I told my sister, well, there might be some, you know, older art in there that has nude pictures. And sure enough, there was one. So there was that one. And then there's the really funny one. I don't know if you guys will find it funny. We found it funny. So, and this is the what I get when I hang out with my sister. So she found this image, and she said, "Well, well, those look like boobs." <laughs> and so we went with it, and we had this picture where she's got quite red nipples and lips there, and another architectural element. And so we went for it. Put them together. Tabasco boobs. <laughs> um, and on the other side, did I give you the other side of this one? I didn't. So on the other side of these shocking 
um, collages. I did a different sort of shocking, or maybe shocked, as in wide-eyed, like, like that. And I would be shocked if a seal suddenly appeared out of the depths. So this is more the shocked, when you have a little child peeking through down there. This gal with this incredible hair. Oh, snake, that horse is looking kind of shocked. Um, the shocking meerkat. Anyway, so I had fun with that. And the other side of Miss Tabasco boobs are these. I feel like there still needs to be something under the alligator, but I don't know. I never found anything that struck me as quite right. So, um, so yeah, there's that. And I think we're back to randomness now. Again, just another random collage. Sort of picking some images and throwing them together for no particular reason. And same thing here, except for these are in flight and headed in the same direction. And there's a fish here I think was related to this. So I kind of made it up as I went along. And then this. Same sort of thing. And this. These are shoes down here. So there it is. Another round of um, of collaging. So what does that make? I think there's eight here, so 16 collagings. <laughs> yep. Again, if anybody can see use for any of these, let me know and I'll, I'll send to you. Otherwise, I'll do my own thing with them. Whatever that may be. Might be trashing them tomorrow. Might be trashing them in a month. <laughs> um, or, you know, I might use them for leisurely sketching ideas or something, or line drawings, just to see. Uh, I am not I am not good at drawing, but I've reached a stage in my life where I don't care if I'm good at things, I'll just do them anyway. <laughs> and it has to have a, a therapeutic effect. Um, and these definitely did. I could have just done that kind of all day long. There wasn't... It wasn't really, again, because, because I wasn't being very focused um, or worried about the outcome, there's less, I was less likely to get exhausted from it than my sister, who was getting some, I think, kind of complex visions in her head about how she wanted things to go on the surface. And... She did have better collages than me. She did. She does have more artistic talent in general. Um, but anyway, so she she was more inclined to get a little bit exhausted by it, but not much, not much. She she didn't have much trouble uh, keeping up with me in terms of wanting to mess around with the images. So so there you go, little collage show and tell. Talk to you later. Bye-bye.